welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. So today's topic is picking a hotel for the trade show. Now I'm going to start out by saying that I'm not personally a big fan of the host hotel. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the host hotel. I just prefer not to stay there. Now my difficulty is that they're usually more expensive than our clients would like us to spend as we need to stay much longer than the three days that a show typically runs. As exhibit supervisors, we usually stay seven to eight days when you add up the setup and the dismantle days on either end of the show. Now, we also like to have the mobility of a rental car as we often need to pick up items for the exhibit at neighborhood stores like Best Buy or Home Depot. So, for that reason, we would want to offset the cost of the rental car with a reduced price hotel. All right, now let's go back to the host hotel. First of all, it is usually fully booked. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that the elevators are always full, the restaurants are always full, and the prices for restaurants in these hotels can suck up a per diem allotment pretty quickly. All right, on the good side, you're there. I mean, you're there at ground zero, which gives you extra off time, extra sleep time, and extra everything time. Now, with all that said, let's look at ways to save time and money on hotels. Number one, the first thing I would do is not to wait for the show booking site to come out in order to book your hotel. If you know the travel dates, then I would check the cost and book directly with the convention hotel or something nearby. When the show hotel reservation site does become available, then you can check their rates and availability and decide at that time to hold or cancel your existing reservation. All right, number two, one of the best features with online travel sites is to look at the map or locator section to see exactly where the hotels are in reference to the convention site. Many of these sites will even have the distance from the convention center listed. Anything under a half a mile, now that's easily walkable or a short taxi fare. All right, number three, it's good to see if the hotel you choose has a local shuttle. Now this can save you a lot of money in taxi fares. Now call the hotel directly and ask specific questions like having a shuttle or restaurants within walking distance, parking rates, do they have coffee in the room, extra costs or resort fees, and things that would be important to a good stay for you. It's also very important to ask if the hotel is undergoing renovations during the dates of your stay. All right, number four. Remember that if you use an online travel site to book your hotel, then you may not be able to get hotel points for your stay. So if you're a member of Hilton or Starwood or Marriott or any other program, it may be beneficial to look for the hotel and check rates with an online travel site, but book it directly through the hotel. All right, number five. I also like to look for hotels that have a complimentary breakfast. It's a big time saver for us breakfast lovers. If you do not travel much, I would highly recommend going on a reputable review site like TripAdvisor to get up-to-date reviews from people who have recently stayed there. Now, understand that it's usually the people that have had a bad experience that feel more compelled to write a review. So read a lot of reviews to get a well-rounded feel 
for the hotel you choose. All right, number six. If your trade show takes you to places like Las Vegas or Orlando, which are prime vacation destinations, you may also want to check out vacation resorts. Now, you can literally get a full condo or townhouse for the price of a hotel room. Many will have full kitchens. All right, as always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. We'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, relax in the Exhibitor Lounge.